Hi everyone, so today I'm back for a quick video for you guys and today I actually went um, out with my sister to get some few things for her prom and we went in Primark and I came across their makeup line which is PS I think that's what it's called, it's called PS um, Yes, I have my little teddy bear friend because again my background has changed because I'm struggling with filming space Anyways, I hope you guys like this random background Let me know what you guys want to name that guy Anyways, yeah, I picked up a few of the uh, makeup items from Primark and I'm actually going to try them for the first time So I thought that would be a fun video to do and I've got my base makeup done because I didn't really buy any skin stuff because I was kind of scared to put Primark skin stuff on my face um, I've tried their makeup wipes which are good but I'm just not too sure about the skin stuff and also the girl at the um, till she was like don't get like the skin stuff because it gave her a lot of spots so I don't know maybe in the future I was thinking because I only got a few stuff because they didn't really have a big range and I've seen more shades in the lip liners especially on Instagram and stuff so if you want to see a part two version of this video let me know in the info in the info box in the comments below so I will make sure to go to a bigger Primark and get more products and more shades to try out um, and I'll also grab some skincare like who cares we'll just try it anyways if you guys like this video um, but yeah we're gonna just try some Primark B stuff and I hope you guys will like this video so the first thing that I'm going to try out is their brow pencil so it's just called the brow pencil the PS brow pencil <coughs> oh. <coughs> so yeah it's called the brow pencil it comes with the spoolie side and the pencil side and this as you can see was only one pound and I saw this and I was like okay I gotta get it there was just a bunch that I think there was three colors and I picked up the darkest one there's not there's no shade why is there no shade so I'm going to try this can't believe this was a pound Wow, I think you really need to be light-handed with this because I just put a little bit of pressure and it made a massive line on my eyebrow. Oh crap, what the hell? Ooh, that's actually really nice. Okay. I actually really like this and I'm pretty shocked at, with the quality of it I like the spoolie I'm not too fussed about the spoolie but it actually looks like it's working really well and I'm actually happy with the colour yeah I, I actually really like that oh my god so that's my undone brow and that's the dead one, like, oh, that's really good. So just to give you a little bit of an up close, this is what they look like. This one looks a bit square, but this is a really rough application, but I'm really happy with it. I mean, I actually really like it. I am definitely going to give this one a thumbs up because it's actually really, really good. So seriously, I definitely recommend this one. I have to say, I don't know about the longevity of it, like if it's going to stay, if it's waterproof or whatever. Does it really say? It doesn't really give that much information on the product, but again, it is a pound, so what do you expect? Like, it's a pound. Um, so yeah, definitely for a pound, I would say the quality is very, very, very good, even though there's no shade or no like information about the product itself. Like, it's just ingredients. And it just says brow pencil on the back. That's it. So the next thing that I picked up is the PS Nine Shade Eye Palette. Now this is reminding me of the MAC Times Nine palettes. They look very similar. I'm not too sure about the shades, but there were other ones, but this is the one that caught my eye. I hope they have... The thing that I don't like about this is that they're all shimmery. There's not even one matte shade in there, is there? No. What the palette looks like. I don't know, the shades look just so like subtle. I mean, I wish they did a bit more with this. I got this for 250, which is not bad for an eyeshadow palette. I haven't primed my eyelids, which kind of sucks. And I can't bother to get them, get my concealer, but we'll just put this to test even more then. So without a base, 
I don't know what to go to though. The white shade. So mm, there's quite some pigment in there. I don't know, when you touch it, it feels like very smooth, but then when you apply it, it just applies like a chalky eyeshadow. So I think I'm going to take this shade right here and just apply that all over my eyelid. Oh, it actually looks very pretty on the eye. Like, I feel like if you're just beginning in makeup, like, it's actually not that bad, to be honest. Just to give you a close up, it's very like, this is like nothing and this is like with the shadow, like it's super super like subtle and like my skin tone. I don't know, I really like that. I feel like it goes with this makeup, like, I don't know, it just goes well with the skin. The thing is, when I've been like dipping my makeup brush in, you can see like how powdery it is. I'm going to take like the darker shade and put this on my outer corner. Wow, the fallout on my face is insane. Oh my god, the fallout. So annoying. I'm then going to take the white shade and highlight my brow bone. I look super orange on camera, don't I? It doesn't look orange like that in real life. That's the eye makeup done. To be honest, I don't know if you can see. Let's zoom in. Can you guys see like the fallout here? Uh, I don't really like that. No, no. It's a big no-no for me. I don't like this palette. So really, I'm not too fond about the palette. I mean, for £2.50, it's an alright shadow. Like, if you want it for, like, every day and you're not, like, really into makeup but you just want a little something, you can grab this palette. But I personally don't really like it. I don't really like the quality of it. I mean, you could kind of expect that for a £2.50 palette. So I grabbed this thing, pencil thingy. I think there's two in there. Yeah. I don't know why there's two, but I'm stocked up for cold, cold pencil now. I had a cold pencil before, but it's nothing to do with this one. Like, it's completely different. So you get two in here for a pound. And there's also a sharpener. See, look, see how creamy this is. Okay. Wow. As you can see, that's very pigmented. So let's try this on the eyes. I'm going to tight line and then line my waterline. Right now I'm just tight lining. You can kind of see that it's there's something there. Like it's very subtle, but that's the whole point, I guess. But it's doing a really good job. So I just put a bit of mascara on and it actually looks really nice. The cold pencil, it's very black and pigmented. And again, like for one pound you get two and a sharpener. I think that's a good deal. So I definitely will give that a thumbs up. The next thing that I got was actually two lip liners. So I got these two shades right here. They were both one pound each and I got one in wine and the other in dark pink. So this is what dark pink looks like. Swatch it on my hand. I'm very bad at swatching. It's just a very dark pink. So my lips are quite dry right now, but I'm actually really liking this shade. It's like a toned down fuchsia colour. It looks very like natural, like I, I really like it. Even though I've got very pigmented lips anyways and it's still like showing through, I think that's really good. So definitely a thumbs up for that. So let's try the other one, which was wine. So I don't know if this is me, but this one doesn't feel very creamy at all, like it's going on quite hard. Okay, so what I did with this one is I lined my lips and filled them in. The colour's nice. I don't really like reddish colours like sometimes, only like on special occasions, but actually I do like this colour. It's coming up more red on camera, but it's actually more deep reddish plum I would say, like kind of like Max Cyber I think. But can you see how it's a bit patchier on the centre? I feel like it's not very even, but the colour's still pigmented. So what I would say is this is really good to like fill in your lips, not fill in your lips, line your lips before applying a colour that's very similar to this. But I don't think it's very good to like fill in your lips in because it's very like hard to use and it's not spreading the colour evenly. And it just looks very disgusting in the middle. <laughs> um, 
But to line your lips, I would definitely say this is a good one. Next thing I got is super random. I saw this hand cream and I'm obsessed with hand cream. I love having hand cream in my bag because my hands get real grey. So this one has a thingy on the top so I know that no one's been using it because my primer had such a messy makeup section, it's disgusting. So I got the um, Cocoa Butter Softening Moisturising Hand Cream. It comes like in this like body shop imitation kind of packaging. It actually smells really, really, really nice. Oh my god, that smells so nice. I don't know how to explain it. If you have smelled like Vaseline Cocoa Butter Cream, Oh my god, wait. Wait, let me just let it sink in a little bit. Okay, it's actually really good. I love the smell and at first it felt a bit sticky, that's why I was like, oh my god. But it actually just sinks into the skin and it just feels normal. Like, I hate it when you know, like when you use Nivea cream, it's very like oily and sticky and you know it's there. But this one feels alright. It's okay, but you can feel that there's something there. It doesn't feel sticky, but it feels another type of way. But I actually like that. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I actually had a lot of fun trying out these Primark makeup items because I've always seen them, but I never grabbed them, and I'm excited to try some more. So let me guys know if you want to see another video. If not, that's okay. I won't do another one. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys all so much. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.